Uh, notes on DLC patch. Marching Winter Terraforming spell only works on first city cast on since DLC update. Each additional city where the spell is cast on does no more terraforming. Even if you cancel the city spell in the first uh, city you cast on, there's still no sh uh, snow transformation happening in those cities. That's not what I'm having happen. I'm having it happen on two cities currently out of three. Unless you're suggesting that it's doing that because of the they're connected. Actually, no, no, no. I, I cast it on the vassal in the bottom right, remember? And it's working there. So out of four cities I've attempted it on, it's happening on three. Your increased control over the seals has caused disturbances in the realm which have not gone unnoticed. Now lost, last dreadnought Edward Portsmouth approaches. What are you doing, Muckluck? Do you not think I... Do, you, do not think I do not feel the disturbances in the astral flows. If you think you can use some cursed eldritch magic to stop me, you are not only foolish, you are no better than any other wizard king. Larissa tries to intervene. Edward, please, you're not yourself. And for a moment, there's a hint of doubt and pain in his eyes. Then an angry red glimmer returns. Your treachery leaves me no choice. My righteous march cannot be stopped. You will achieve victory in 34 turns. Oh. It's pretty cool that it's just like, yup. All you, buddy. Hmm. Can I not expand on Father Oak? Like it's... There's not, like, the seal, I guess, and also this you cannot capture, apparently. Uh, alright. Might be time to try this one out. Alright, I'm gonna quick save in case this is a terrible idea. These little dungeon things, um, you can only send in one army. The majestic Father Oak unfurls before you. Light shimmering through its leaves, something stirs in the canopy. Help, help, great materium, mummy, help. Scampering down the massive tree's trunk are spring fairies, their cheeks streaked with tears. Their pointy ears twitch as they cry out to you. Please help us. The poisonous horned god and its horrid fiends assault our treetop den and seek to consume our friends and babies. Casting your eyes upward, you see shadows writhing on the branches, rapidly descending. The poor spring fairy looks at you, pleading for help. In the upcoming battle, Poisoned Tree is active. All uh, Every three turns, all attacking units have a 90% base chance of getting poisoned. Aid the fairies in attack. Search for an antidote against the poisonous horned god. Growth, for, growth is blocked for five turns, but you have poison antidotes active in the next battle. Um, that's not that great. I'm just going to attack normally. All right, I'm gonna hit auto, and we lost a white witch and a defender. I'm gonna hit retry. I can do that too. Can't get 
connected to the enemy because of all these vines they summoned, which I think was the whole point. Try to freeze that guy. Success. Animate another plant back here. Hit their spiders. Yeah, these really tall guys with the horns, they just summon lots of stuff. And you they need plants to be able to animate them, but there's a lot of plants on this level, so... They got a lot to work with. Uh, let's see... something. I took that trait earlier where every time I get a kill, I get some more combat mana back. So look, we're at 130 out of 90 right now because of uh, all the little vine things he's summoning that I'm killing. It keeps giving me more mana to fire spells. So that uh, is a perfect counter to these guys in a way. As long as I've got the mana, I've got the combat casting points. I killed that plane I just summoned, but it's distracting them, so it's fine. The dragon just killed something with retaliation. that. No. <laughs> he, can, he will not be affected by that. Try to freeze. 35% chance. Wow, nice. That was a 1 in 3. Uh, why can this guy not move? Entwined. Okay. He's uh, immobilized in some fashion. Uh, animate another plant. Summoned a bunch of vines on us again. Oh, that guy's a ranged attack. I don't know what- I don't- I'm not familiar with this unit. What are you? The Entwined Scourge. Tier 4 Battle Mage. Okay. Uh, oh, that's a bummer. All right, so I killed that vine so that this entwined dryad no longer had, or nymph, sorry, no longer had anything in range of her stopping her from casting. And now she can do this, regen. And start clawing that to death. Plants here. Okay, I got a few plants here in this guy's way. Oh, that's right. I just remember there was a pass I did where summons last, um, I think it's three turns. So, you're not gonna, like, overwhelm them at any. Oh no, this unit! No! Is there anything I can do to bring it back? That's a bummer. I don't think I'm gonna restart for that, but that's a bummer.
Because uh, that unit that just died, we've had it since the start of the game. So it was uh, max XP rank. So unfortunately, we lost it. Oh my god, it's midnight. Why are you guys keeping me up past my bedtime? Every time I play this game, y'all do this. Four more minutes? Yeah, four more minutes. So I went from, honestly, oh my god, I don't know if that's better or not. I went from losing two units to losing a different unit that arguably was worse to lose. But that's fine, all right, I'll, I'll just do that. Uh, poison and protection aftermath. With the immediate menace vanquished, tiny voices in the treetops sing your praises. You also notice various animals emerging from hiding spots, including a thunderbird mount. The animal whoops and howls and the fairies sing, Materium, mommy of the broken branches, thank you for your deliverance. Let us sing your praises now and reward you with equivalence. Make a wish and if it's true, this reward will be for you. You receive knowledge no matter what. Um, poison immunity ring, thunderbird melt, a summon fairy unit, and a unicorn unit. Or I just want you to be safe. Uh, fairy, the fairy units are pretty strong. <laughs> have you go there and you go there now the fairies are tier 3 support are they supports? I thought they were battle mages actually and then the unicorns where's the unicorn is a tier 3 unit also funny enough it's considered cavalry like it will charge at enemies and impale them <laughs> You lost a seal, you captured a seal, your ruler leveled up. Uh, quickened breath. Let's get tail swipe. Oh, do I have another level up? Dragon scales level two. More armor since we keep throwing this one into melee. Spells ready to cast. We can try Marching Winter again and see if it wants to behave this time. Wait, your domain invaded? Where? Okay, I don't see it. Didn't see this one expand anymore. All right, let's do, where's the channel? A hot tur. Cancel that one. But the ice that's already there stays there. It just stops expanding. All right, let's see if anything happens. All right, grand estate is done being made. Catapults. Bathhouse production done. Granary. Empire skill. Research. Uh, post. Grant plus five mana. Comes. Grant plus five mana. Okay, uh, that gives up a tiny bit. The province is being built right there. There's our enemy. You motherfucker. You come into my house. Try to take my food. Wow, we get a lot of movement points on ice. Uh, it's almost like we were built for this. Your army is trespassing? What? <laughs> okay. 
You're all leveled up. Hmm. Defense three. Orders required. Uh, you just join that army. Your domain is invaded. My um, pluck puck. NPC Army of Oracalum. Who is that muckluck pot? Rebel hero, hello, thank you. All right, do we have any more movement this turn? We have a little bit more. All right, so we got these guys down here. That could be a problem. All right, and I hope to see some ice spreading right here. I have the big sad. So just this city, for some reason, is not spreading ice. Ice is doing very well around these two. Look at all that. Uh... Where... Okay, I see you. There. All right, so we need to go to through the teleporter. Um, does it need something research built in the city itself? No, you literally just cast it on a city. Like I have it cast here, and ice will spread through your um, areas that are within the highlighted area. And then it will also go one tile out from there. Um, but it, it freezes two tiles per turn. Uh, but this one, it's just not doing it at all. There is another spell that is just freeze one tile. Uh, but then all, oh, also Marching Winter, uh, while it's active, any frozen provinces in your area grant plus two food and plus two production. So while it's going and you've got a big ice area, it's, this is a lot more additional income. So, but yeah, it's it's just not working right here for some reason. Although I wonder if I hold on, freeze the land. Okay, that tile now has Arctic on it from the single target one. I don't know if that's going to change anything. Let me see. I wonder if it has to do with, like, the tile I put it on can't be frozen, and since I put the city on that tile, it's, like, just not gonna work or something. Uh, oh, you're dead. So that was one of the seal guys. What? What is this guy doing? Are you an enemy? NPC Army of Oracalum. Okay, we got a few things to do here. Thing one, bring him over here. I know it's after midnight, guys, hang on. I will totally forget what I was in the middle of if we don't take care of business right now. We got business. All right, we're gonna send one army to deal with that guy and two to deal with the other one. Totem of the Wild Research done. Tome of Severing was my goal. It's only 30 turns of victory. Slaying a wizard is Severing similar to slaying any other monster. Severing off. Right. Catapult towers are done. Uh, Temple of Fertility. Citadel done. Bathhouse. No, don't need. Working on that. There's actually two armies here for the seal. One of my scouts killed in the underground. Oh my. Congrats, congratulations, Materia Mommy Muckluck. You've managed to annoy me enough. I've actually uh, have to take action to destroy you myself. Bye. I don't even care. All right, two armies versus this. What happens? 
lost the fairies I just got. Muck you, no. Fairies. Oh my god, why did I get my fireballs as soon as it started? Rude. The second the fight started, it's like, have you met our lord and savior fireball? Uh, summon random undead. coming from? Maybe these guys? Do they shoot fireballs? I don't think so, because they, they meleeed that turn. No, they just have a charge attack. Tail swipe. Uh, what is this? Friendly units of one hex radius gain 15 temp hit points in regeneration. for one turn. Success. Alright. You do warrior banner stuff falling asleep. Have a good night, Chevalier. Restoration. Channel power. Okay, that's mostly dead. Oh, it almost died. Now it's dead. Uh, what else we got? Let's see, just shoot bow. Are there anything to animate around here? I don't think so. Not no plants, anyway. Um. Totem of the Wild. Totem of the Wild is really cool. So you summon it, and one, it's just there. It's another thing with hit points that might get in their way. And also, every turn for three turns, it summons a swarm of level one units. And those each live for three turns. So it's great for just getting in the enemy's way. Still don't know where all these... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Is it this thing up here? Meteor Shower. Two meteors impact next to random enemies when you cast this, as well as at the start of each of your turns. That's it. Expires in one turn. Wow, that's not nice. Time you shoot this thing, it spills lava on the other things. Great. So I need to hit the other stuff first if possible.
it's a 60% chance, come on. Yeah, we seduce those things. turn oh these things the, we got an army of free piggies from the totem let's see um okay, plus 20 max hit points to start the battle or till the end of the battle let's do that just for more hit points on them i'm shocked chip hasn't started sassing you yet he's asleep in the chair right now he's got nothing to say at the moment hit this will it spill lava onto its own teammate yes it does so when you hit these these walking crab fire pots it spills lava on everything around it friend or foe interesting so right now in current positioning that's good for me not good for them gone. Let's do auto. Hold on a sec. When I hit auto, is it using my spells? Is there a way to tell it to do use my spells or don't use my spells when it autos? I swear that used to be a button somewhere. I'm not sure where that. So I know we lost. Whoa, that's weird. <laughs> I think that's a graphical bug. Suddenly a large uh, violin wand in the sky. Use slash not use spells is only for full auto at the beginning. Oh, okay. Go piggies. All right, so we lost one banner man. We can replace that. We captured a seal, done. Orders. Did we already take out? Oh no, we didn't, it's right here. Wait, what? Declare justified war. Well, well, he says through gritted teeth. If it's a war you want, a war you'll get. Call the banners. Oh, I didn't read that carefully enough. This guy's allied with the dude that was trespassing on me. And now he's an enemy. Hmm. <laughs> so I can get this guy off my...